If you haven't heard about this, oh honey, Noah blasts J Lo for attending Diddy's party. Oh honey, Noah, remember him? He is an actor and producer and famous for marrying none other than Jennifer Lopez, also known as J Lo from 1997 to 1998. The man who was briefly married to Jennifer Lopez before she went on to marry, date, and almost marry a whole lineup of other famous men. Well, Ohani is back in the headlines, this time to express his outrage over J. Lo attending a party thrown by none other than Sean Diddy Combs, a name that's been making waves lately for all the wrong reasons. Yes, Diddy the music mogul who practically invented the shiny suit era and has since rebranded more times than Prince, has recently been hit with some serious legal troubles. Charges of abuse, allegations of coercion, and threats related to sex trafficking have cast a dark shadow over his empire, and now we're all waiting to see what comes next. In a surprising twist, Ohani Noah in a past interview blamed Sean Diddy Combs for the breakdown of his brief marriage to Jennifer Lopez. Reflecting on their 1997 union, Ohani claims that everything changed when Diddy entered the picture, suggesting that the hip-hop mogul played a key role in driving a wedge between him and J. Lo. Ohani said, Diddy came into her life and things were never the same attributing the end of their marriage to Diddy's growing influence over Jennifer. According to Noah, Diddy's presence was a major factor as Jennifer's career began to take off and she found herself more deeply embedded in the music industry. Ohani remains convinced that Diddy's involvement was the final blow to their marriage. People are now asking Ohani if he ever went to a Diddy party because of everything going on with Diddy, and Ohani is mad. Very mad, and he wants you to know it. I would be mad too if Diddy was the reason for my failed marriage. Ohani, bless his heart, has resurfaced to call out his ex-wife for attending a party hosted by Diddy, that Diddy. The man whose name is currently tied to enough legal drama to make a whole season of Law and Order Hip Hop Unit. And while everyone else is asking, wait, J. Lo was at this party? Ohani is doing the moral grandstanding of this century, demanding to know why she dared to attend an event thrown by someone facing such heinous accusations. But Ohani is determined to make his point. These are serious accusations against Diddy. People need to be more careful about who they associate with. Of course, the real issue here isn't J. Lo attending a party. It's the fact that Diddy, once the king of cool, is now facing charges that could end his career and anyone associated with him. And this isn't the kind of PR problem you can fix with a music remix. Allegations of abuse and threats tied to sex trafficking aren't exactly something you can sweep under the rug with a catchy new track. It's serious, it's disturbing, and it's dragging a lot of people into a mess they probably didn't want to be part of, including J. Lo. So, to sum up this latest scandal, J. Lo went to a party, Diddy's in legal trouble, and Ohani Noah is still out here setting the air clear that he never ever went to a Diddy party, but his ex-wife Jennifer did. I mean, Diddy is facing some huge troubles right now. Tony Busby is lining up 120 lawsuits against Diddy, and last week he dropped a handful of them. In one of the lawsuits, it was alleged that Diddy drugged and sexually assaulted a 13-year-old girl. Men are also suing him, claiming that he also sexually assaulted them. Diddy was also caught on camera beating up Cassie. Diddy sexually assaulted people at his parties. Diddy is a bad man, and no one wants to be around him or be associated with him anymore. And you can't really blame Ohani. After all, who wants to be associated with going to Diddy parties or participating in a freak-off? He doesn't want his name associated with Diddy, and I don't blame him. Thank you for watching Trending Topics, 
and check out my other videos.